Yeah, be careful. Thanks there the help, Dad. See you, bud. Bye. -o. Come on, Coach. You're not going him. Let's go. Hey, come on. <laughs> What's up everyone? Glad to have you back for another video. That's my dad heading out. We're at the off-grid property here. Fortunately, I had him help me bring a bunch of my stuff here, set up the Kodiak tent. You guys saw that all in the last video. Unfortunately, he's taking his side by side. <laughs> so much fun with that coach come on let's go he's leaving um but yeah this video we're gonna keep setting up the tent so let's head back and uh continue setting up our kodiak tent we've got uh a new fridge to test out it's a set power 60 quart uh fridge freezer it's got a little bit of a divider in the middle um which is going to be really neat it's also got wheels on it so it's kind of portable so we can take it in and out of the tent um, because I still have the fridge in my truck. So when I go into town to get supplies, because you know we're totally off grid here, roll the set power fridge out to my truck, transfer fridge to fridge, and then roll it back in to the tent rather right. than having to like take everything out of one fridge, put it in bags and put it in another fridge. So yeah, I was able to work in some lines here coming up to my camp um, with the side by side, that was fun. But anyways, let's get our kitchen area set up, huh, Codes? Oh, yeah. Oh, Coda likes the tent. Ah. What do you think of it, Codes? <laughs> yeah, she likes it. Hey, quit leaning on it like that. You can't do that. Sick what? Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry, Dad. So we're sitting in the Lazy Boy here for the first time, realizing the set power fridge makes for a great nightstand so yeah that's kind of neat we anyways i gotta get stuff set up here i'm just like really enjoying having this interior space but let's get everything set up show you this fridge and get our like interior kitchen going all right well this is coming together i got my desk over here and yeah i think i'm gonna put the set power fridge right here next to my desk um but first, I want to put the wheels on it so I can easily move it around. This new desk is fancy, huh? I'll link this below as well as the set power fridge, of course. Um, but yeah, check it out. This is the way, this is how you mount the wheels. Super solid bar, so I like that. The wheels just slip on and get a nut on them. Where all the chargers are and stuff. Hardware to uh, mount the wheels. It even comes with a tool, but check this out. The people who came across this package must be the happiest people in the world. <laughs> oh, I love it. And look at this, it even comes with stickers. We need to get my rig on here. This is the closest. We're in a tent right now. And uh, we started off with a Toyota Sun Raider RV. And uh, we kind of went to a mid-sized Dodge Mahal. No, I'm kidding, these don't look anything like it. but. I love how it says the people who came across this pack. Like we just stumble upon it. Like it was just fate. I don't know. I like the I like their attitude. Seriously, that's great. Do it like that. It's pretty easy here. Um, got that nylock washer on there. We'll take it out and load it up from the truck and roll it on its wheels. The hardest part of this install, I think, is going to be deciding... Where to put these amazing stickers? I don't know. What do you guys think? Look at that. That's pretty nifty. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Hold on. That was a little bit slow. Last time we tested a fridge with wheels, we wanted to make sure it was down to mob. So let's go! Bacon, turkey, fudge mint cookies, a 12 pack of Voodoo Rangers in there, regular cookies, 
whole lot of healthy stuff. We gotta cook, make cookies over the wood stove. What? Leftover meatloaf, couple cans of peaches, couple Giovanni's, some brats. We got plenty of room. And leftover sandwich. Wow, there's still so much room in here, even though I spilled the fudge mint cookies. That's okay. We'll have to just clean them up. Mmm. Gotta clean all these up. <laughs> oh yeah. That metal frame actually has a little bit of a skid plate. Holds up great off-road. <laughs> Alright. There we go. But yeah, I'm thinking that we'll have this fridge like right about there. Also a cool spot for someone to sit. So if I'm having people hanging out, you could sit at the chair. Like I could sit, this is my main station, right? At the chair here with. Yeah, maybe we'll leave the power station just right there. All right, look at this. This is totally a dual zone. You can set each zone to a different temperature. That is really neat. Really neat, actually. So it's pulling 38 watts, 35, 29. That's not bad at all. That I'll be talking about more about in the next video is my whole solar setup, how we're gonna put some panels outside and how it is to actually run this Kodiak Canvas Lodge cabin tent. 12 by 12, off grid. And I can't wait also to get the eight by eight awning room on here. Still so much to do, but so stoked with progress today. Sometimes at the off grid property, it's hard to figure out what to do next oh i will tell you there's a black friday sale on this set power fridge so check that out um that's today right i don't know i don't always remember what day of the week it is but the link below will tell you A little bit tall. I don't know. I might have to edit in the camper for now. Although, this is kind of nice. I'm just really lean forward. And I can also lean back. We'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. Cause why not? I like my tent, but I don't like my cot. Cause the freaking... <laughs> Rats got to it, don't want to do it. Rats got to it. That was a little freestyle for you, a little off group freestyle, a little mix up. Wicked it, wee, wee. I sure do feel real fortunate to have this Kodiak tent and this fridge and power station and all the things I have. So I want to say thank you to my sponsors, um, but specifically Kodiak tent, Set Power, and Bouge RV for really setting me up for the winter. Um, and helping fund my whole winter expedition here at the off-grid property. So the next video, we're going to talk about the Bouge RV power station here, set up our solar system, um, continue showing you how we're going to get dialed in. We'll show you a little bit about the wood stove and uh, where we're going to position our truck, moving things around, getting dialed in at the off-grid property. That's going to all be in the next video. And after that, we'll switch back to Canada... Uh, mountain bike trip in the summer wrap that all up and jump back to winter here and show you what it's like to live in this tent i'm super excited got a lot to catch up on i'm a one-man show so thank you for jumping the timeline with me enjoying this so check the description for links of stuff i use here in this video we'll see you next time comment let me know what you think of my uh winter off grid setup here and we'll see you next time the only question is are you down to mom off grid <laughs>